Hi, I'm Mark Hobie, producing artistic director here at Paper Mill Playhouse. I hope this message finds you and your family at home safe and healthy. While our theater remains closed, we wanted to continue to bring you a theatrical experience right there in your home. And so on Monday evenings, we will be streaming our New Voices concerts from the past. The New Voices concert is the culmination of our summer musical theater conservatory program, and it features over 100 of the brightest new talents from across the state of New Jersey. I hope you enjoy these fantastic performances by these phenomenal students, and who knows, you may even recognize a face or two. Take care. Tonight, over 100 students from Paper Mill Summer Musical Theater Conservatory come together to salute memorable moments in movie musicals. Over the years, many Broadway shows have been turned into movies, like Oklahoma, The Music Man, Brigadoon, West Side Story, and don't forget the hundreds of original musicals made by Hollywood. Great films like Flying Down to Rio, Summer Stock, The Bandwagon, and some of those films like 42nd Street, have turned right around and become hits again on Broadway. 
Today, musicals move back and forth between the screen and the stage thanks to the success of films such as Chicago, Dreamgirls, and this summer's smash hit, Hairspray. And even The Little Mermaid will swim her way down Broadway this coming fall. So sit back and relax, because Paper Mill Summer Conservatory is, is going, going Hollywood! Or the ball where she gives him her all. That 
that's entertainment. It might be a fight like you see on the screen. Or Swain getting slain for the love of a queen. Some great Shakespeare you see. Or a ghost and a prince and, and everyone ends in me. Engine number 49, she's the only one that'll sound that way on the actress in Topeka and the Santa Fe. See the old smoke rising around the bench. I reckon that she thinks she's gonna meet a friend. Folks around these parts get the time of day from the actress in Topeka and the Santa Fe. Here she comes, here she comes.
I couldn't speak because he scared me half to death. Buzz, 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 and the buzzer. Blah, 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 when the wheels. Stop, stop with my heartstrings. As he started to leave, I took hold of his sleeve with my hand.
across the river while she sings away in the tide. It's quiet and peaceful on the other side. Forget your troubles, get happy, your cares fly away. Sing hallelujah, get happy, get ready for your judgment day. Come on, get happy, you better chase all your cares away. Alone on a 
Of all the great movie musicals, there is one achievement that seems to stand above the crowd, even today. Each production number was painstakingly choreographed and filmed, and the result is that they are as fresh and ingenious today as they were when they were first screened 55 years ago. It was directed by Stanley Donnan and Gene Kelly, who also choreographed and starred in the picture alongside Donald O'Connor and Debbie Reynolds. Know what it is yet? Right, singing in the rain. So, if anyone ever asks you what made the musicals from MGM so great, all you have to do is show them this one DVD of one film. It simply explains it all. And they met you 
just for me.
Graham's classic The Wizard of Oz was one of the first great films for children, but it certainly was not the last. Musicals were always popular among family audiences, and nobody but nobody made better children's musicals than Walt Disney. From the early classics like Snow White and Cinderella, to the mega hits like Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, and Mary Poppins, these films, like The Wizard of Oz, have given faithful service to the young and the young at heart. And time has been powerless to put them out of fashion. So with our junior and junior plus conservatory students as our guides, we invite you to journey back to a world of fantasy and childhood, movie musical style.
could talk to the animals, learn their languages, maybe take an animal degree. Imagine talking to a tiger, chatting with a cheetah. What a neat achievement that would be if we could talk to the animals, learn their languages, maybe take an animal degree. I'd study elephant and eagle, buffalo and beagle, alligator, guinea pig, and flea. And I would curse in fluent kangaroo. If people ask you, can you speak my nostrils? I'd say, of course, Aris. Can't you? If we conferred with our furry friends, man to animal. Think of all the things we could discuss. If we could walk with the animals, talk with the animals, grunt and squeak and squawk with the animals and they could squeak and squawk and speak and talk to us Oh my god, wait, Julia. Didn't you like date him? Totally did. 
And me and my BFF just saw hairspray. Oh, oh my God. God. You guys, I am totally freaking out. TTYL. Oh, What's Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a Mormon man. No time to talk. The music loud and the wind is warm. I've been kicked around since I was born. But now it's all right. It's okay, and we may look the other way, but we can try to understand the New York Times effect on men. Whether you're a brother or whether you're a mother, you're staying alive, staying alive. Give the city breaking and everybody's shaking, and we're staying alive, staying alive. Ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ha, 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 staying alive. You're standing there, you're still a 
difference, you're still the answer to a prayer. And what I see is what I want, you're everything. You're everything. Anywhere you go, I'll be there. Anywhere I'll follow you. Anything you want, I'll give Anything you. at all. Anytime you're lost, that's me. Couple, this one. 
cluster of chosen occupation With several strings of polo ponies in your stable You must remember all the same That at the crooks of every game Is knowing when it's time to leave the table And it's important to be artful in your exit No turning back, you must accept the con is done But now and then you might recall the moments when you had it all You had the charm, you had the talent And my god, you had some fun It was a ball, it was a blast And it's a shame you couldn't last But every chapter has to end, you must agree it was a joy, it was a blind, a splendid way to earn a dime for a dirty rotten guy. It was a ball, it was a thrill, you had the grace, you had the skill to know exactly what to say and what to do. I want to trade a single day or have it any other way. Dirty rotten guys like
to touch your lips and whistle, that's the thing. Everybody always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the right side of life. If life seems jolly rotten, there's something you've forgotten. And that's the laugh and smile and dance and sing. When you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just purse your lips and whistle, that's the thing. They've still given us great songs. Amazing songs. And great scores. Amazing scores. Or better yet, those moments when that memorable music and that classic line of dialogue and that singular performance all come together to create unforgettable movie magic. I can think of so many. Like, like Bogart begging Sam to play it again. Or asking a favor of Don Corleone on the day of his daughter's wedding. Or, or the Owen King perched atop the railing of the Titanic. I bet we could come up with 50 of them. Maybe even 75. And that's exactly what we're going to and do. And that's exactly what we're... Wait, what? 75 of the greatest movie moments in five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes. Lights! But, but Sean, that's like 15 scenes per minute. Camera! Houston, we have a problem. Action! Get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. Bastard ever won a war by dying for his country. He won it by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is a war room. <laughs> wherever you can look, wherever there's a fight so that hungry people can eat, I'll be there. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Wherever there's a cop beating up a guy, I'll be there. Go ahead, make my day. I'll be the way, I'll be the way guys yell when they're mad. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take this anymore. And I'll be in the way a kid laughs when he's hungry and he knows his supper's ready. And when people are eating the stuff they raise and living in the houses they build, I'll be there too. I understand it, Tom. Me neither, Ma. Just something I've been thinking about. <laughs> What do they call it? A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Kia Well, now, 
You never really can understand somebody until you see things from their point of view. You know, climb inside their skin and walk around in it for a while. Mm -hmm. We've become a race of peeping toms. What people ought to do now is get outside the house and look in for a change. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
no doubt that for decades, Hollywood has made us laugh and cry and has contributed to our national cultural identity. From the earliest days of the film industry, movie musicals have given us something to hang our hopes and wishes on, especially when things get tough. But most of all, Hollywood has encouraged us to dream. So as we stand here tonight and think of our own dreams and a future where harmony and peace will provide the soundtrack for all of our lives, we invite you to wish along with us. I'm wishing. 